led better lessons. Okay, so our last block to master before we get back into our game is the change by block. So you notice that we have two, two change blocks. So one changes the X coordinate and the other one changes the Y coordinate like that. So both blocks, I have them highlighted over here. So again, when we come over here to our X coordinate, you see that it goes left to right and we see that our Y coordinate goes up and down. Now, the important thing is to realize that we're not setting a value, but we're changing the value. So in my Y here, I have a value of 33. So it will change my Y by 10. So we're gonna add 10 to 33. So when I click this block, you see that it went up to 43. I click the block, it adds another 10, 53. Now we can also go in the negative direction. So we can change it by negative 10, and that's basically just like subtracting 10 from the value of Y. So if I do this, it should go down to 43. So let's click it, it goes down to 43. Subtracts another 10, 33, etc. So it does that for the Y direction, up and down, and you can also do it for the X direction. So if I click the X, you'll see that it changes X by 10, adds 10 to it, adds 10, adds 10. If I go in the negative direction, it will subtract 10. Okay, so that's basically how the change block works. It just changes the value that, that X is or Y is by the value that you put in the these little circular blocks here. Okay, so now let's get back to our Pong game and we'll keep on programming with it. 